one to get you moving. It's all part of the One Billion Steps Challenge here at News 8. Each week we feature a walk, 5K, or run that you and your family can take part in. And this Saturday is the third annual Shamrock Sprint to benefit the John Patrick Flanagan Foundation. And joining us is the chairperson, Amanda Flanagan. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. So tell me how this race got started. Well, in 2008, we lost my husband, John Flanagan, um, at an early age to cancer. And um, at that time, his friends and family and colleagues, we all wanted to come together to have something positive um, come out of this tragedy. And so we started this charitable legacy. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I'm happy to share that many years later, we've given away more than a quarter million dollars to great charities throughout Connecticut mm -hmm. that help disadvantaged children and families. And you have partnership with the Audubon Society as well. We do, we do. We have a flagship program called the John Flanagan Trailblazers. Mm -hmm. And through that program, we've partnered with the Connecticut Audubon Society and the Bridgeport Public Schools, and we've brought more than 5,000 uh, Bridgeport Public School third graders and fifth graders to the Audubon mm -hmm. for an earth science curriculum and field trips. Wow, and I'm sure it's something your husband would be proud of. Absolutely. He actually loved to hike those trails at this property um, with our children mm -hmm. and um, was a big nature lover, so Great. it's very appropriate. Uh, so let's talk about the event this weekend. How can people sign up? Um, so people can visit our website. Mm -hmm. It's jpff. Org, and we're going to have online registration open through Friday afternoon mm -hmm. and on-site registration Saturday morning begins at 7 30 okay. and um, it's a beautiful course it's a classic New England setting mm -hmm. with stone walls and horses and oh, that shaded is so New you know, England. <laughs> yeah trees it's a beautiful it's a beautiful spot and we the race begins and ends at the Connecticut Audubon Society's Nature Center mm -hmm. so the runners can see where we have our field trips and the wildlife exhibits and even hike the trails um, at our party afterwards if they'd like. Yeah, there is quite the festivity going on afterwards. Yes, we have um, a lot of games and contests for the children mm -hmm. and a DJ and it's a real carnival-like atmosphere and you know, it's a real positive family event. You can really feel the pride and the love behind it. Mm -hmm. so. And walkers are welcome? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And we're actually, um, this year we have My Team Triumph which is an organization that helps people with special needs to participate in um, road races. Mm -hmm. So we have four teams coming. Oh, great. And um, that's a great way to get um, people involved. with special needs um, involved in the running community. Very so good. Well, best of luck to you this weekend. There's still time to sign up. And remember, go to WTH.com slash Billion Steps to be part of the challenge. Be sure to let us know about your steps to a healthier lifestyle on social media using the hashtag Billion Steps CT. And you can check out the website to sign up for the race this weekend. Amanda, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Sure.